Hello, I'm Paul Webb, owner and proprietor of three restaurants in Hastings and Rye in East Sussex and tutor at Webb's Cookery School in Rye. And today I'm going to show you a really useful recipe. Right, I'm going to show you a lovely way of doing mackerel. We're going to marinate it in a saffron and orange dressing. I've got some white wine vinegar going into the bowl. I've got some orange juice freshly squeezed. I've got a little bit of honey, that's runny honey. I've got some saffron stamens, a little bit of light soy. I'm going to take a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We are just going to work those ingredients together. I've got some extra virgin olive oil. Just drizzle that in a little bit at a time. We're going to put a tiny, tiny little bit of rock salt in there and a couple of twists of pepper. And we're just going to let all those ingredients infuse together with the saffron that's going to become a really bright orange colour. Right, now that we've made our marinade, I'm going to show you how to fill it this mackerel to marinade it in our liquor. But first, what I'm going to do is just take one tablespoon of this out and put that onto our very thinly sliced fennel, which is absolutely gorgeous when it's raw. I'm going to put a little bit more salt in there and a couple of twists of pepper. So what we're going to do here is, is the fish has already been gutted. We're going to remove the two fillets. So just take the knife under the gill. When you get to the middle bone, just turn the blade of the fish and push down and just take the fillet off nice and gently like that. I think mackerel must be the easiest fish to fillet because it is just like going through butter. Everything on it is so soft. Now we're just going to clean these two fillets up here slightly. Where the stomach was, there's a few bones to trim away there. So one there and the same on this one. Just shave there. I'm just going to trim away on the top. So we've got two lovely mackerel fillets there now. And this is absolutely full of bones here, but instead of plucking every single one of those out, the bones are really soft and they have a tendency to snap. So what we're going to do is just cut a slight V, like that. We're going to waste a tiny little bit of meat but more importantly, we're going to take all those bones out. So that's one done there. And the next one, like that. Be careful not to cut too deep that you cut through the skin on the other side. And what we're going to do now is just cut three nice diamonds like that. and we're just going to place those into our marinating liquor. And because this fish is quite skinny, 15 minutes is probably all we need to marinate that fish. Right, we're going to, now our mackerel has had about 15 minutes in the liquor, so it's stained up nicely and just started to cook through a little bit. We're going to pan fry these, but not all the way through. We still need them to be quite rare inside. And I'm going to pan fry them in this heavy pan here, but I put in it some baking parchment and we're going to fry on top of that because of the honey in that liquor, it's still going to stick to the pan. So we're going to get our pan nice and hot. Right, so we're just waiting for that pan to get hot. We've got our fennel salad that's gone nice and soft now. So we're just going to make three little piles here. pan's warm enough so we can put a little drizzle of olive oil on there and we're going to take three bits of our marinated mackerel like that. Once we have a nice caramel colour on the bottom of the mackerel we're just going to turn that over very very gently and it just blackens just slightly with the honey in there and then we're going to remove that from the heat and just let that carry on cooking the residual heat from the pan. Now here I've got some saffron dressing. We're just going to drizzle a little bit of that on the plate. Right, we're going to remove our mackerel now. There 
and we're just going to place a little bit of mackerel on top of our piles of fennel. I've got some diced flesh of tomato. I think tomato and orange go fantastically well together. And I'm just to give it a little bit of green, I'm going to put a little bit of rocket on there as well. And that is how to cook marinated mackerel.